often wearing a headlamp just because I'm looking in isopod bins, counting isopods for orders, or often I'll wear one to add a little bit more light uh, on the organisms that I'm taking videos of. I wear them frequently also when I'm out collecting in my backyard. You guys have probably seen bits and pieces of my backyard throughout the videos I've made. It's a rather unique place. Um, I was able to start my dead bug business primarily because I moved into this house even without knowing how wonderful it was going to be. Um, there's a little stream at the base of the hill and because of that stream there are a lot of aquatics that come up and the subject of tonight's video is caddisflies. This is going to be sort of a difficult video to film. It's a video about caddisflies. This here is a northern caddisfly, and uh, they're the biggest of the caddisflies here in the United States, as far as I know. A lot of caddisflies have greenish abdomens. It's kind of a curious thing. I'm not sure why that is, but it's an observation I've made. You'll see these around streams. Fishermen are probably most familiar with them. They fly mainly at dusk, right before it's getting dark. Get back down, please. So that's a large species of caddisfly collected here in my backyard tonight. Another kind of caddisfly is this right here. It's called a longhorn caddisfly. It has longer antennae. Saw it very briefly here. Fortunately, I have another example here in a container. You can see that its antennae are longer than the antennae of the large caddisfly were. A northern caddisfly, I should say. This one here is in the family Leptocercidae. Another kind called the Black Dancer somewhere around here. Um, this one here is a smaller caddisfly species. Someone told me the other day what they thought it was. He was a caddisfly expert, but the species name and even the family escapes my mind now. Caddisflies are often grouped on the basis, I think, of the types of cases they build as larvae. Some build cases out of small pebbles and some build cases out of things like pine needles. Others build no cases at all, but are uh, sort of free living without a case. Larvae just kind of crawling around. You can see these three caddisfly larval cases here on the paper towel. I'm going to take some close-ups of them a little bit later so that you can really see what's going on with them. They are composed and built by the larvae of small pebbles from stream beds. They glue these together and uh, we'll take a closer look at that. I had one other one here to show you. Unfortunately I wasn't able to collect a living specimen of this kind of caddisfly tonight. It's called a bizarre caddisfly. They're kind of fuzzy and have rounded wings. I'll undoubtedly see a hundred of them here before the summer ends. Get another opportunity to look at them at that time, I'm sure. Well, interestingly, I had to put these caddisfly larvae, these cases that they've built to surround themselves with for protection's sake. I had to put them on a black background rather than a white background so that you can see them properly. Hopefully you can see that they are composed of very small pieces of rock or sand, pebbles from the stream bed. Got some red rocks in there and some grayish ones. They're still wet and so it's a little bit hard to make out the individual pieces.